Hello, Airdrop Hunter. So, I found a way to interact with Venom Bridge Task on mobile. But I warn you, make sure you watch this video in full screen because you won't be able to see a lot of items on the screen. They are very tiny. Alright then, so let's go to our testnet website, venom.network slash task. So you are going to connect your wallet, but before you do that, go to your browser sidebar menu and change your browsing mode to desktop. Change it from mobile to desktop. So you see that the layout is different now. And then connect with Venom Chrome extension, not Venom mobile app. Tap on connect. So we'll tap on Venom Bridge and we'll go ahead to perform its task. The first task is to join Venom Bridge on Telegram and I have done that earlier so I'm just going to tap on the done button and get it done with. Task completed. So we are going to move on with our second task and our second task is to make a transfer between EVM chains and Venom wallet. Our example of EVM chain is BSC, Ethereum, Phantom and all that and a v an EVM compatible wallet is Metamask. So we are going to be using two wallets for this task. We will be using the Metamask wallet and then Venom wallet. So you can see that my browser interface is back to mobile so I will go back to my sidebar menu and I will change uh, the mode back to desktop mode so that I, the transfer can go through. If I try to connect while on mobile mode, you can see it is not bringing Chrome extension so I have to switch to desktop mode first. Okay, so now that we are on desktop mode, I'm going to connect with my Venom wallet first. So I'll use Venom Chrome extension. Venom extension connected and then we're going to connect with MetaMask. Confirm the connection, you have to log into your MetaMask first. And then we are connected with both wallets now. So I'm going to indicate uh, the first thing I want to do is to transfer from Binance Smart Chain, that's BSC. I want to make a bridge rather between Binance Smart Chain to Venom Testnet. So I'm going to indicate amount of Venom that I want to bridge between the two. So I will follow the prompt, I will approve transfer. I will approve that in MetaMask wallet. So for this task, you need to have two dollar worth of BSC, not testnet BSC, mainnet BSC, the one that is real money. You have to have two dollar worth of it on your MetaMask before you'll be able to complete this task. So we'll wait for that to be confirmed. Okay, so the first step is done. You're going to approve the transfer in your Venom wallet.
and then we're going to wait for the transfer to be completed between the two chains between Binance Smart Chain and Venom. Note that it can take a while on your end. I needed to cut the time short, so I cut off the time while I was waiting. So our transaction is successful. We have been able to make it a bridge between BSC and Venom Testnet. So we're going to go back to our task page now and then we'll move on to the next task. So here is our next task. We want to make a transfer between Venom Wallet now to Binance Smart Chain. Remember the first one is from Binance Smart Chain to Venom. And then this time we're going to bridge between Venom and then to Binance Smart Chain. So we're going to follow the prompt. This time you switch the bar so that Venom Testnet comes first and then Binance Smart Chain comes to the end as the receiver as you can see on my screen. So indicate the number of uh, test Venom that you want to bridge between Venom and Binance Smart Chain and then approve the transfer. Follow the prompt on your screen. You need to approve the transfer in your Venom wallet. This one doesn't take much time like the first task. So now you need to approve the transfer again in your MetaMask wallet. Select confirm. And our transaction is successful. So we have been able to carry out a bridge transaction between Binance Smart Chain and Venom and also between Venom and Binance Smart Chain. So we are going to go back to our task page and now that we are done with bridging, we can mint our NFT for this task. So as you can see all tasks are done. So we will mint an NFT now. Our NFT is successfully minted, that means we are completely done with the bridging task. If you made it to the end of this tutorial, then I have a bonus for you. Go to your app store, if you are on Android, go to your play store and download MySys browser. That is what I use to be able to complete this bridging task, as you can't do it on your mobile wallet. So download MySys browser and set it up and then use it for to carry out this task. If you have any questions regarding the browser itself or regarding this tutorial, don't hesitate to drop me a comment in the comment section and I promise you I'll get to it. So this is our NFT collection and you can see we now have 4 NFTs. In the next tutorial, we'll move on to the next task which is Venom Stake. Thank you for watching.